two departments, both alike in dignity, in fair Geneva, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where academic blood makes scholarly hands unclean. From forth the fatal registrations of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. The fearful passage of their death-marked love, and the continuance of their major's rage, which, but their student graduation, not could remove, is now the fifteen minutes of our stage. The which, if you with patient ears and willing votes attend, what, in A.P. English, you did miss, our toil shall strive to mend. Romeo. You seem lost in thought. What's up? I'm writing a sonnet for my dearest Rosalind. She waits for me back at Stratford High School. I can tell that right now you're in a mood where you would make a party by leaving it. It's a good skill, but maybe not one you should cultivate. You've made no secret of how much you miss Rosalind. I'll read you the first lines of my poem. <clears throat> None fairer than my love, the all-seeing sun, hasn't seen her match since first the world That's begun. That's all I need to hear. Make sure to send it in for your Humanities 103 love poem. They really eat that sort of stuff up. However, I wonder whether your relationship can last in the real world. Uh, high school relationships aren't known to last past Welcome Week. Why do you question me? My love for Rosalind will last forever. It's eternal and unchanging as... Who is that? She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I see that you're very faithful. That's Juliet. She's an engineering major. I've even heard that she's mechanical. Dream on. You have as much chance with her as student min majors have of passing poli sci, or as Rutt has of finishing all of Genesis in one semester of Bible lectures. Was I ever in love before now? I haven't seen true beauty until I saw that. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You are. Romeo. Are you okay? I'm Juliet. I'm Romeo. You're not like most people I see around us me. You seem to actually be able to look at somebody in the eyes when you're talking to them. Hi. Um, this, this place isn't good for serious talking. Can we meet at the apartments tonight? I don't see why not, but you should know that I carry pepper spray and I'll be telling my RA to keep an eye out. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you later then. Bye. Is he single? Cause... Dang, girl! That's Romeo, but he's an English major. He wears scarves and berets. I heard he even reads poetry for fun but I find that hard to believe. For an English major, he's pretty cute. <laughs> Yeet, what light from yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Rise, fair sun, and kill all other light. Why is life not as simple as calculus? She speaks. Speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Where the frick are you, Romeo? Drop your major and change your name, or at least get me a ring by spring, and I'll no longer be an engineer. You are yourself, though not an English major. If you weren't an English major, you'd still be the total package without that title. Romeo, change your name and we can hold hands, passing the greatest milestone of them all. I take you at your word. Take my love and I'll change my name. Who's there? Is, is that Romeo, the English major? Neither Romeo nor an English major, if you have a problem with it. Did you just hear everything I just said? Yes, and my love is as strong as the sun. Thanks for being a creep. Well, I do still mean what I said. I know. I'm no expert in metaphors, but my love for you is as deep as a binary defragmentation. Juliet, it's quiet hours. This always happens right when we get to the good part. Though our love is already strong, we must go to sheets once before we can get married, according to the ancient laws. Let us speak tomorrow, but secret. 
No one will approve of the mathematical disparity in our relationship. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet. Make sure to send me a good morning text. Good night, my love. I will carry your words deep in my heart. You wanted to see me, Professor Capulet? Yes, I did. I wanted to warn you. You've been seen with Romeo, the English major, and I want you to stay away from him. Why? What? What's so wrong with dating an English major? Listen to yourself. While we're designing bridges and supercomputers, they're writing sonnets to cheese. They never produce anything or had a hard day's work in their whole lives. If you're interested in a man, I have a very long, 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 long list of engineers who are just bursting at the opportunity to marry a woman like you, or any woman for that matter. I can't say that I have any desire to get to know any of them better. They all seem already in love with their chemistry libraries and designing their own websites. Nonsense! Many of our engineers are smart and qualified in the science of romance. They weren't. Even if you don't marry an engineering major, please promise me you won't marry one of those vain, foolish, insipid, and stupid English majors. I promise. Best to see. In my way of thinking, the use of iambic juxtaposition in the fourth canto serves to highlight the alienation experienced by the dreamer. If you don't understand what Mercutio is saying, don't worry. He doesn't either. Points the, points the apothesis of the narrative as the protagonist's tedium. Hey! Are the poetry factories hiring? Very funny. Did your RA help you think of that one? Can you even tell C-Shark apart from Java? I don't know what gibberish you're talking about, but we adults are talking about something important here. Huh. You poets seem to think that your wallets magically fill themselves. Can't handle any more of this. formulas and think carefully. You wouldn't know a good reading series if it hit them in the face. face. They are violent to the core. Are all engineers like this? The environmental engineers are far worse. Nothing good has ever come out of the engineering department. I do not kill with my gun. He who kills with his gun has forgotten the face of his father. I kill with my yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey, Juliet, are you okay? Sunday dinner get to you again? 
tired of the animosity between the humanities and the engineers. There's, there's no peace on campus. Well, that struggle's been going on for a long time, and I doubt there's anything anyone can do about it. Besides, there's like no humanities majors anyway. Well, there's a few, but they just think they're really important. Today, in one of my engineering classes, someone wrote Wednesday on the board. They wrote it W-E-N-D-S-D-A-Y. It took me a couple of seconds to realize they were wrong. There is one solution to escaping the major echo chamber. Uh, you could take Humanities 103. It's a great chance to get away from all your engineering people and interact with people from other majors on campus. You mean I'd be in a class with people from all over campus. Like most students, Juliet was eager for the academic rigor that comes from sitting across the boy she liked. I'll take it. How hard could it be? Dearest Juliet, I see the tortures of book study were too much for you. I thought the constant cosmology would be too much for you to bear. I cannot bear a cosmos without you. Uh. Ah! What the frick? Oh no, my love, dead because he didn't know how to check a pulse. Still an English major, even until the end. Without Romeo in this world, even concrete design would seem tedious. I can't do it. of peace, to build an integrated education with love and learning for all, a shared foundation of wisdom. There never was a story of such woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. If this film fest has offended, think but this. All is mended, that you have but slumbered here whilst these visions did appear. <laughs>